Good morning. Happy Father's Day. What do fathers like? Fathers like beef jerky. I think today we're going to grill up, smoke up some homemade beef jerky. I think it's fitting for Father's Day. What do you think? Here's the beef jerky and Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, how we doing today? I'm gonna start preparing the, my meat for the jerky for this weekend smoke. So I've got here a three pound eye of round roast. And I'm gonna trim just a little bit of the fat off of it first. cut the slices and then tomorrow I'll make up the spices and all and let the thing start marinating in the fridge for 24 hours and then Saturday morning I'll get up and get the smoker going but this is the first step first time I've done jerky on this grill so the smoker so we'll see how it goes hope you enjoy it I'm not going to take all the fat off, just some of the big chunks to feel it when it's the hard parts. Just clean it up a little bit. If I had a grinder, I would grind this fat up. But as it is, I don't yet. I wish I had a meat slicer too, so that's on the, the shopping list. See what we can do without it, if I can get this cut the way that I want. Hopefully I can. And let's see how we go here. About an eighth of an inch thick is what I'd like to get. And what I was reading, um, it looks like eye around is the best meat to use for for jerky. You can use uh, bottom round if you want, and of course the real expensive meat you can do that. This is just a, a simple U.S. choice. Should come out pretty good though, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. You don't have to sit here and watch. I'll fast forward some of it, but when I get it all sliced up and ready and put it in the bag, then I'll uh, I'll show you that much. But this is the start of the jerky process. You gotta have a pretty good knife to do this too if you don't have a slicer. It's a pretty good one. Cheapy. It's a little thick. That'd be a nice chunk. And there we have our sliced up uh, three pounds, a little over three pounds of uh, jerky. Uh, I think that might be all I'm gonna get on the grill. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I've got three racks that stack, so we'll see if I have room for any more. I might do half of my other one. Um, and save the rest and freeze it for doing another batch later. But there we go, and I'm gonna put that in a bag overnight, and then tomorrow I will do the seasoning. I'll make up the seasoning. Ah, who knows? Maybe I'll make the seasoning tonight and show you that too. We'll see. Check test, check, check test. 
Kentucky Mule Cast. Good for the test. All right, friends, it's time to make up our marinade for our jerky. And uh, I'm gonna get ready to do that. And I'm gonna tell you, show you what all I got down here. I'll get up closer so I can tell you what all we got that we're gonna put in our marinade. Okay, here's what's going in our, uh, our marinade we've got half a cup of soy sauce we got a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce we got a quarter cup of mustard a quarter cup of red wine vinegar two tablespoons of garlic powder two tablespoons of onion powder four tablespoons of brown sugar with a dash of cayenne pepper on top can't forget that three tablespoons of meat church's holy cow barbecue seasoning we got three quarters of a cup of ketchup behind that that I forgot we have um, a quarter cup of uh, beef broth and then up front here we got uh, two tablespoons of all seasonal that's it yep and then uh, we're gonna heat up a, a pan with uh, some butter a stick of butter and then add all that in there into the mix then we'll let it cool once it's cool we'll put it in the bag with our jerky and we're gonna let that in the fridge overnight 24 hours Through the magic of television, that butter melted quick, but the real time, it took forever. Cold stick of butter. All right, we got that in there, so we're gonna start putting our ingredients. I'm gonna start with the brown sugar and a little bit of cayenne pepper. So that can melt up a little bit. It's like mixing food on your plate. It all winds up in the same place, so. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, onion powder, garlic powder, season all. The wonderful, wonderful holy cow. Oh, yeah. Stir that up a little bit with the dry ingredients. Let that butter get in there. Everything's good with butter. Butter's in it, it's gotta be good. Sheer, shire, sheer, shire sauce. Soy sauce. It's gonna be salty. Beef. Bouillon. Broth. And red wine vinegar. Finish it up. And I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Get it all in there mixed up good. it up. And then let it cool down. It smells good. Mm. 
What a concoction. You know what? I forgot an ingredient. I decided I'm going to add to it. Let's put a little bit of honey in there. Honey's good with everything. Let's sweeten it up a little bit from the heat from the holy cow. Why not, right? You only live once. Might as well live well eating jerky. It's my philosophy. Let that heat up. And then I'll turn it off and let it cool. Take it off the heat and pour it in our bag with our uh, jerky meat. Man, I can't wait to eat this stuff. See you in a bit. As you can see, I heated it up just to boil, and now I'm going to turn it off and let it set. All right, we're going to get ready to fire up the grill, the smoker for uh, doing the meat jerky. And I'm going to alternate between the lump charcoal mesquite wood chunks and apple wood chunks, wood chunks mixed for this. So I've got the charcoal in. Let's get hickory, apple, and I'll put more charcoal in on top of that. Layer it. out here today and right now I'm getting my meat that have been marinated putting some on the rack let me show you there we go getting some of it filling up my first rack right now I'm just getting some of the meat off of the tray and putting it up on the rack but you can't see hold on there we go, get my hand out of the way. So I'm just loading it up onto this rack for now. Now we'll carry it out and throw it on the grill. The grill is heating up right now. It's 225 and then I'm gonna turn it down to 180. Get, get it good and smoky. There we go, see you in a bit. Load it up. lowered it down to 180 degrees and I'm gonna give it about four hours and in that time I'll keep checking it every hour and I might swap racks around but shouldn't need to too much and that ought to do it see you in a while okay let's check on this jerky it's been uh, two and a half hours oh yeah look at that it's looking nice and smoky um, I think it's good I'm gonna give it about an hour and then I'm gonna shuffle the trays around a little bit.
dry. A little bit. So that's gonna be good. Four and a half hours in. Looking pretty good. We are seven hours and 45 minutes in. I'm gonna check the jerky and uh, see if it's time to pull her off yet. Still windy too. Let me turn this light on. Sorry about that. That's what you want when it's still a little flexible, but you see the white when you're pulling it apart. That's what we want. So I would say that's done. And this one, I think is ready. So I'm gonna give that one another 15, 20 minutes. We're still at 180. We're good. Look at that jerky.